Welcome to the 2022 Texas Democratic Convention. A lot has happened since we saw all of you on Zoom two years ago. In the midst of an unprecedented global pandemic, outrage over the violence against Black lives, and a country divided by vitriol and hatred, our country came together for institutional change. Electing Joseph R. Biden to serve in our nation's highest office, and our country's first Black, South Asian, and female Vice President Kamala Harris. But not everyone was willing to accept the results of the 2020 election. We all remember where we were when we heard the news of the devastating attack on January 6th. Fueled by the Republicans' big lie, insurrectionists stormed our nation's capital, armed with a bogus plot to overthrow our democracy. But in the face of violent attacks on our democratic process, we refused to back down, and democracy prevailed. And just when Texans thought we were through the storm, we found ourselves in another one. And as some fled the scene, Democrats showed that we will always come together when our community members are in need, mobilizing in ways we've never seen to bring supplies to those most impacted by the devastating effects of Winter Storm Uri. Millions of Texans were without power for five days. How did Texas Republicans respond? So this shows how the Green New Deal would be a deadly deal for the United States of America. By blaming clean energy, bailing out their friends, and putting the cost of their greed on everyday Texans. We know that Texas Republicans don't prioritize the issues that matter, mounting attacks on our most fundamental freedoms, the freedom to choose, the freedom to vote, the freedom to teach, the freedom to be, and our freedom to go about our lives and live our days without fear. While Texas Republicans used every tool in their toolbox to move our state backwards, Texas Democrats refused to stand idly by. In historic quorum break in the Texas legislature, our House and Senate Democrats took the fight to D.C. to advocate for voting rights, inspiring a nationwide movement to protect the freedom to vote. But back home, we started feeling the consequences of the cruelty unleashed by Texas Republicans. Yesterday at the Robb Elementary School just behind me, a gunman opened fire killing 19 students and two teachers, all in a single classroom. I don't know how to express the loss of the families that I've talked to. And I know you people, too, have to do something, man. This is on you until you choose to do something different. This will continue to happen. Somebody needs to stand up for the children of this state, or they will continue to be killed, just like they were killed in the ball yesterday. And the devastation continued. Roe versus Wade officially overturned. After decades of plotting, extremist conservatives robbed millions of Americans of their bodily autonomy, their right to choose their own future, to govern their own destiny. Texas Democrats know what real leadership looks like. And this isn't it. But we're fired up and ready to take back our state this November. And with an incredibly strong slate of candidates, Victory is within our grasp. So, after four years apart, we're so pleased to welcome you to the 2022 Texas Democratic Convention. Our fight to November 8th starts right now, right here, together.